Hey everyone, Cynthia here. Welcome back to the Nameless Homestead. And today is our hatching egg check-in. We have been doing a new series here on the channel. We are uploading now every Thursdays and Sundays so that we can take you through an incubation and hatching process of some mystery eggs. These eggs also were shipped all the way from Florida and had to go through a polar vortex to get here, which delayed their arrival. So today we get to find out whether or not they actually maintain their their fertility over their long shipment. So fingers crossed. Today we are going to talk all about the development of a chicken embryo from the first day of incubation all the way till to today, which is day seven. Our lovelies have been right here on my kitchen counter, safe and sound in their Brinsey incubator, which I absolutely love. This links to all of the items that I use will be of course in the description box below. So what we're gonna do is take them out of their incubator just for a very short period of time. And then we're gonna go into my fully dark bathroom and check for signs of life. And while I get these kiddos moved over into the bathroom with me and get set up to do that, here is a short synopsis of the development that has occurred over the past seven days. The first few days, not much interesting happens. We just have some cell division and kind of setting up the ground base work for the embryo to develop. By day three, the embryo was laying on its left side. The head and torso can be defined and discerned as well as the brain. The structures of the heart also appear. The heart begins to beat and blood starts to circulate through the veins. By day five, the embryo has gotten much larger. It's much easier to see the eye, to define the lower limbs, and it takes on more of a C shape and its head moves closer to its tail. You can even see some differentiation of the toes. By day seven, which is today, you can see a lot of thinning of the neck here, which now clearly separates the head from the body. You can even see the beginning formation of the beak. The brain has moved into its proper position and its body is now starting to catch up with its head size. Boo. <laughs> Sorry, dorky moment, had to do it. We're getting all set up in the bathroom. I hope you enjoyed some of that fun scientific information. I know I love to nerd out like that, but we are actually gonna take a look at what our eggs look like right now. Oh, we've got some development. Check that out. Now this egg isn't fitting this candler terribly well. I hope that you guys can see this, but do you see that dark shadow at the top? That means there has been some growth here. And if you look very carefully, and I rotate the egg, see if we can get it in focus here, you can see the veins and the inner workings. See that dark spot in the middle? That's where the baby is. So we definitely have some growth here in at least one of the eggs. Now, if you want to, and you wanna do very quick checks, you can just put your can your candler on top of your eggs while they're in the tray like this. And just go boop, development or not, boop, development or not. And to be quite quick because you don't want the eggs to cool terribly. So I'm gonna go through and check to see if there's any duds first. And then I'll show a couple good examples. Check this one a little more closely. Oh, yep. So in an egg that was not fertile or didn't develop, it just, all you see is yellow and then the yolk floating at the top. This egg is a dud for sure. So I'll take it out. I'll show you the difference between this dud egg and pick a random one out of here. this developing egg. You can see distinct veins and vessels. You can see there's been a cloudy kind of dark shadow shape where the membrane is growing and developing and thickening and supporting life on the, for the chick. And then there's the lighter kind of air pocket area that you don't see development in. As the chick develops, this area will become darker and darker and we'll see more of that next week. These eggs when we candle them will look way different. So it looks like so far so good. We've got the one dud. Let's double check 
some eggs. Let's see if we can see a fetus up close. This one might be a quitter as well. We'll have to see. It doesn't seem to be as developed as the other eggs, so we'll have to just keep an eye on that. Oh, this one has developed its amnion really well and as like a ring all the way around the bottom. You can barely see out from the air bubble. It becomes so much darker in the egg because there is something growing in there. And with shipped eggs, you do expect more loss because shipping, especially delayed shipping like what we had, it would be completely reasonable to expect a higher loss in the beginning because they get jostled around, temperature fluctuations, all sorts of stuff that can impact fertility. You see that little dark spot right there in amongst all the veins? That is a little chick embryo bouncing around in there, growing and happy as can be. If you have a really good candler and I'm thinking about upgrading and getting a Brincy one, you can see so clearly that sometimes in this stage, you can even see their heartbeat. Okay, got the babies back home and safe in their incubator and getting warm back up. We will not be checking on them again until next week. You don't want to candle your eggs too often because the temperature fluctuations can stunt their growth or even kill them. So definitely don't do this terribly often, as fun as it may be. We only had one true dud so far, but there are definitely a few in there that I want to monitor and check on next week because if they haven't grown, that means that they may have been early quick. Quitters. And like I said, with shipped eggs and definitely in this situation, some losses to be expected. Hopefully though, we get a 50% 50 50 plus fertility rate out of this. I would honestly be happy with that, with all that these eggs have been through. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload our next video on the development of these eggs. Follow along in our story and find out when they hatch, what breeds we end up getting. I think one at least is a silky. The green and blues are probably Easter eggers, but they could be Arcana or they could even be cream leg bar. Some of them have a blue enough tint that they just might be. So don't forget to comment down below with your guesses as to the breed. See you all Sunday.